Yes. Yes, and... Oh, actually, that's it. Uh, what am I guessing about? Oh, uh, dude. Mini GT. Uh, Mini GT I've talked about. I haven't been very kind to them in the past. I mean, I feel I like haven't been unkind either. Definitely haven't been unfair, at least according to my personal experiences. Um, a while ago, I had a video talking about Mini GT and their um, quality control issues. I actually had someone contact me, and we've talked a lot later about um, die cast and stuff, which is really cool. And I also got a, uh, a dislike there as well, and I feel like, I mean, I don't know, obviously I don't know, there can be like one out of a thousand reasons why someone will dislike a video, but uh, I mean, it could be from my terrible, 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 non-existent uh, production quality, or they just don't like what I'm saying, but like, at least according to my uh, experiences with Mini GT back then, uh, that was exactly what I experienced, I wasn't being, I feel like I wasn't being unfair. But like, I kept on buying Mini GT because despite the um, issues I have with their quality control, uh, even their stuff was like, a little bit of flaw, I can still, I, I still believe they're really good for the price. I know there's someone on Reddit who believes like, brands like Kyosho are kind of useless because the um, existence of brands like Mini GT, which I, kind of disagreed with because of their quality control and now I have what four or five kill shows and none of them have any significant quality control issues while well, I've had quite a bit of that from Mini GT but these two I think again like I've said it before Mini GT doesn't keep track of their releases that well I'm pretty sure these are two of the more uh, recent Mini GT releases and I'm really really glad to report that both of them are really perfect I'm sure the Huracan is from a um, very very recent release this one I think so but like the number on it says like 14 I don't know how the numbers work um, maybe this was an older release I don't know but this um, Honda uh, Civic Type R is pretty much perfect as well I will start actually with the Honda so welcome back this is uh, Honda Civic Type R and love this type of blue uh, I specifically chose a um, a, a, a uh, configuration that actually has white rims. I just wanted anything that's not black rims. Like I've said it before, like I love black colors on cars, but for one thing, the um, uh, it obscures the details. It makes dirt and scratches a lot more uh, noticeable. And in terms of rims, I like something that contrasts with the uh, uh, black tires. So in this case, I went for the white tires. You can see the red dot at the center. Same on the other side. By the way, um, you can see the tires don't fit that well. Um, I, I have to move them around pretty constantly. To I don't know what's that about. Maybe it's like uh, heat. Uh, it's a possibility. Um, front, you can see the Honda logo uh, with red signifying it's Type R lens headlights. Uh, really, really nice blue print. Sorry about the fingerprint. Really, look. I mean, colorful paint. Type R at the back. Type R Civic on the logo, prints, uh, lens details. Yeah, just really solid. And like I said, no quality control faults. Now, um, the window seems to not be fitting right, but I feel like that's a design flaw, not a quality control issue. Um, and obviously, uh, as someone who will be probably be putting this on a shelf or a display case, this doesn't look bad whatsoever. Underside, very nice, heavy um, metal, uh, Mini GT made in China, and obviously it's the other way around. Uh, heavy feels nice in the hand, and as you would expect from Mini GT, well, for the most part, they roll really nicely, and this one definitely does. Uh, just for comparison, this is a Hot Wheels version of it. Uh, by the way, this is FK8. I think it's not like, don't quote me on this, I think it's not the most current generation, maybe the one before that? Not sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, pretty much it looks pretty nice. Hot Wheels has messed with the um, proportions a little bit. They do look pretty much 164, which is nice. Um, yeah, yeah, really, really happy with the Civic. Next up is the Lamborghini. Oh, this is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo, so the 2019 new version of it. Uh, really, first of all, really love the rims. Just this is just gorgeous, and obviously it's very authentic. Nice looking uh, lens headlights, and you can see the, uh, I think it's paint underneath, Lamborghini logo, very sharp details, uh, engine details at the back, 
Um, the only thing I might be able to complain about is the red paint on the back light is not uh, the, is at a little bit of an angle, but I'm not even I can be that anal. You know, and you can see Horicon Evil at the license plate exhaust port's really nice. Mini GT and um, very very plain underside, which I would assume is accurate to the car itself. Yeah. Oh, by the way, both of them have rubber, um, soft rubber rear view side mirrors, and um, they're not chromed. If that's something you care about, um, I, I do like to point out when uh, when companies chrome it out, um, but I don't really mind it when they don't. Now the Hot Wheels one is pretty much the same scale. They're pretty much the same size, which is nice. But um, how is this sort of mess with the? Um, you can see the uh, the lines of the, uh, the the profile lines, the silhouette of the car um, is a bit more interesting. Thing Hot Wheels maybe um, push this a bit forward and maybe race a little bit, makes it more aggressive, which makes it look pretty cool, but not as accurate. Obviously, I know these two are not like the exact same model. Um, but yeah, I think overall Hot Wheels did a pretty good job as well. But this Mini GT is just exquisite. And if Mini GT, and I'm pretty sure these two are um, more recent releases. I'm not completely sure about the Civic. I know the Lamborghini definitely is. Um, and um, I have to agree with the dude I was talking to on Reddit. If Mini GT can keep up with this kind of quality control, pretty pretty soon there's not going to be a competition. I feel like. Because um, they're pretty much, if, again, they keep up their uh, quality control, they're pretty much Atomica Limited Vintage, honestly. Uh, except for, you know, like more recent supercars, that kind of stuff. They roll really, really well. They're awesome scale models. They have all the details you can want. And even better than Atomica Limited Vintage, they actually found a way to do well with Cymera. So if this is like a, the trend for, Tom, for uh, Mini GT, I think this will be amazing. But that's what's the caveat of them being uh, having good quality control that's it for today I'm really happy really really happy like I love my Lamborghinis I love my Italian and especially like European and especially German Europe uh, great German Italian supercars this one is just exquisite and I honestly have been wanting to get the Civic for a long time and this does not disappoint either so I just cannot be happier about it that's it for this video thank you for watching and ta-da!